What's that? Luke, it's dangerous to approach it carelessly. But it's beautiful. It doesn't look like something dangerous. Well, well, what have we here? Second phonons! What? How come we can see phonons? They must be quite concentrated here. This area is likely a phone slot. I still don't really understand what phonons are. Every structure and living thing has its own intrinsic vibration and emits a corresponding sound. Those are divided into six phonons. Tiny differences in their vibration and connections distinguish individual matter. They're one of the basic elements that compose matter. You're made up of phonons and elements. It's rare to find so much of a single phonon bonded together that it becomes visible like this. By the way, Mew, what are you doing? I'm letting the sorcerer's ring soak up the phonons! The elder told me that if the ring soaks up phonons, it'll grow stronger! Stronger, huh? So, how's it feel? Mew! I can feel the power! Well... A little, kind of, I think. What's that supposed to mean? What a waste of time. Mew! Mew, mew, mew! Mew! The power! I can feel it! A stronger sorcerer's ring must grant its wearer new power. Mew, please let me see the sorcerer's ring. Okay! I see. What is it? The crystallized phonons must have carved the ring. There are letters engraved into it. Letters? What's it say? It's a phone verse. This must be what's granting Mew's new power. There was something written on that ring before, wasn't there? That's probably the fifth phonon power that Mew's been using so far. The newly engraved phone verse has given him a new phonic art. A new power! Shut up already, thing! Looking at the ring, it appears there's space for another phone verse to fit. Really? Then if we find another cluster of phonons, let's give it a try. I'm going to work really hard and be even more useful!